Uh. I can't be living off checks. Burn the sets when I'm stressed. EPE what I rap. In the ground. Yeah, yeah, what's good, y'all? It's your boy Chosen One with two guns repping that EMZ. Bitch TV, first thing first, man. Make sure you smash that sub button. Like, share, comment, all the above, all that good stuff. Now, check it, check it, check it. Today's goofy of the day for uh, Saturday goes to basketball player DeMarcus Cousin. Now, check it, man. So, DeMarcus Cousin, right, is getting married, right? He called up his ex, you know what I'm saying? The mother of a seven-year-old child. And he asked the mother... If he could have his son for the wedding. She says, no. You bugging. You're about to marry a whole nother woman. She about to get this bread. A bread that I'm never going to get. <laughs> yeah, she ain't say that. But you already know where I'm about to get to. So she says, no. Right? Mind you, they're on the phone, right? He's on speakerphone. I don't even know how he didn't realize he was on speakerphone. He must have been that mad. So anyway, so he asked one more time. He said, I'm going to ask you one more time. Can I please have my 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 son she says nope just like that nope no curse or nothing smooth as an egg right then he goes and says then he this is what he messed up at this is what he's getting goofy today because then he goes and threatens her and says you gonna make me want to put a bullet in your head basically threatening her life right lucky for him that i was just reading right now that in alabama where this happened at that that is not a big deal over there from what i was reading because they're talking about the first time you do that first of all it's a misdemeanor so you already know that's not that it's not deep if it's a misdemeanor that means it's low court sec second of all i read that if it's your first time doing that kind of stuff you get like a court fee of like six thousand dollars obviously he's caught because he's he's recorded you know what i'm saying so obviously he's caught already you know what i'm saying so yeah so so i'm like all right it's not that bad of a penalty but it's still like, bro, who does that? Who 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 threatens a woman over the phone? Like talking. Like I don't understand if you texting and, so, and then to say it that openly, you feel me? Like he like he, he ain't throw no bar in there, you feel me? He ain't you know what I'm saying? He there wasn't no metaphor. It was just straight, okay, I'ma put a bullet in you. <laughs> I'ma put a bullet in Bro, why would you say that, bro? Why? I mean I know why you said it. But, bro, that's a goofy move, bro. You never, ever, ever do something like that, bro. Never. If anything, you do some metaphorical stuff, but you don't just openly just say it like that. I mean, we all know he really didn't mean it. You know what I'm saying? Of course he really didn't mean it. He not about to, he not about to put his whole life in jeopardy and, and murk the mother of his kid because he ain't make it to his wedding come on let's be rational now he's really not gonna do it and she know that he's not gonna do it but just to f him over she went to the police and said look man i'm scared for my life look what he said now they was like oh right, we need some type of evidence because you can't just be you know what i'm saying doing this out of that you you need evidence you know what i mean the proof is in the pudding like i always say she goes and she goes and with her oh, okay i got that right here whole audio i just heard the audio right now tmz Shout out to TMZ, always number one. TMZ got the whole audio. If I play the audio, the check goes to TMZ. Yo, TMZ, man, I keep saluting y'all because y'all be doing it. You feel me? But anyway, yeah, shout out to y'all, man. But can this guy's on, 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 you know, on audio saying this, bro? Now the police looking for him right now as I'm as I'm speaking to y'all. The police is looking for him. He hasn't even turned himself in yet because if he had, it would have been all over that. Okay, the market just just turned himself in. So I know what he's doing. He's probably preparing himself because this is his first time. He probably going to get like the best lawyer. You know what I'm saying? Getting all the money situated in cash or whatever. He's a basketball player. I know he got to have some type of guap. You feel me? So he's getting all that money, getting ready, getting it all set up, lawyer set up. You know what I mean? You know, just planning everything out because he don't know. I don't think he ever did this before. You ain't going to go on on the weekend telling you you're going to murder baby mama. You know what I'm saying? This is not something that happens a lot. Yeah, it happens, but it doesn't happen a lot, man. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you're messing with chicks like that that are always going to the police. You feel me? So, yeah. so And like I said, it's not that bad for him because it's his first time. And the the laws in Alabama are mad different. $6,000 fee, misdemeanor for your first time. So, that's that's not bad. But it's bad. And that's why I'm giving a goofy of the day because how he went about it and how he just said it so openly like that. You feel me? There's a million ways you could have, you, you know what I'm saying? 
uh, and I'm not saying that it's good to do that, to threaten or whatever, but I understand where he is coming from. I understand the anger. That's what I want to say. I understand the anger, but this you have to you have to move a certain way because first of all, she got your kids. She already winning. You feel me? She already went. And then you gotta look at this, right? This is this this is the mainly well that was the mainly of the goofy of the day. But then the second reason of the goofy of the day is because boy, you gotta sit and think, right? You a basketball player. You rich and famous, right? Because you in the NBA, so you're rich and famous, right? You about to marry a whole nother woman, which means that your baby mama is gonna be salty as F. Right? She's going to be mad as hell because you never did that to her. So not only are you about to marry a whole nother woman, she is going to be entitled to half of everything that he got. While she's over here probably still in the hood. You know what I'm saying? Wherever the hell she's from, but I'm pretty sure she's probably still in the hood somewhere. You know what I'm saying? Collecting whatever child support she gets off of him, which is probably like, I don't know, 5, 10 G's a month they probably get. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, they get used to that kind of money. So after a while, that's not real money to them. They're like, oh, man, I still could have had way more money than this if I would have married him. So you know what I'm saying? So you understand where the hate could be coming from, from her side, the jealousy and the hate from, from, from a woman like that, that first of all got dumped, and now the, the, your, 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 your baby dad's about to marry a whole other woman. She probably don't even have a boyfriend yet. You feel me? And he already about to marry a whole other woman. On top of that, he want to bring your kid, which is his kid, to the wedding. That is like a smack in the face too, but it is his kid though. You got to think, everything is good while he paying, right? Everything is good while, while Shorty is collecting the money. But when it's time for the, for the baby dad to see the kid, then it's, oh no, he's crazy. He do this, he do that. But everything is quiet when they're receiving them checks. You feel me? But, like I said, he gets the goofy because he put himself in this situation. He did. He, he said that junk out of his own mouth, willingly. You feel me? Like I said, man, you know, what he really should have done, he should have prepared this in court months prior. When he realized he was going to get married, he should have thought off the rip like, oh, my baby mom ain't going to like this. Oh, hey, and she ain't gonna like this. Unless if he probably already knew she wasn't gonna like this and did it on purpose even more and was pushing it in her face. Like, ah, I'm about to get married and you never married me. Ah, you stay in the hood. You know what I'm saying? He should have planned this better. Like, okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through the court. I'm gonna let them know, look, I'm getting married on this day. I just want my kid for this day. Can I, can y'all make this happen? You got all the money. You got all the money. You could have gotten a lawyer. You know when you go to the family system and you put in that letter, it takes like about two to three weeks before you get that court date. You know what I'm saying? So it's just that he ain't playing none of this because he probably really thought he had it like that. I don't know why he would think that. You about to give the bag, half of your bag to another woman that could have went to her. And you don't think that she's thinking about that? That's all she's thinking about is all the money that she's about that, that she's losing that she done lost already and now you about to marry another woman which could have been her and she got your kid you feel me come on bro come on man you know what i'm saying and this is why we're here now you know what i'm saying i bet you one thing no he gonna learn from this next time he ever think about saying something like that he gonna do it in a slicker way <laughs> yo i'm laughing because man i heard that junk i heard that audio i say yo this guy really said that like he really said I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna put one through your head. He said it just like that. I'm gonna put one in your head, bro. No. It is what it is, man. Like I said, man, he did that to himself, man. You know, like what was he thinking? Like either he was intentionally getting her, you know, mad, or he really just a real, real goofy and wasn't thinking about none of this. The effect it would have been you marrying another woman and trying to have your ex, which is your baby mama, let you have the kid for the wedding. <laughs> Come on, bro. What kind of, you know what I'm saying? That's the goofy part of it all. EMZ gang. Hey, what up, what up, what up, what up? Hope y'all like the video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell, smash that like button, and drop some comments. Also, for those who want to show love and support to EMZ TV, just cash app, PayPal, and Venmo located in the description box in every video. Chosen one, two guns, EMZ, don't forget the TV, 100.